If you are currently manually extracting names from big long lists of email addresses, stop right now. Hi, I'm John, a qualified accountant with 25 years real world Excel experience. And if you wanna save time and get better Excel results faster, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Imagine that you're gonna just do this as a one-off and you've copied and pasted a big long list of emails. I've got literally like 500 odd here or something. Um, I've copied and pasted them straight from say Outlook into Excel, they've appeared like this. And I just wanna get the list of names because I wanna know, you know who this email went to. And I can use a technique in Excel called Flash Fill to extract pretty much any information from this, basically instantly. So if you take like any any of these names and you start typing, so that, like say I wanna extract the first name of everybody in that list. So type Evan there and hit enter. And of course, nothing's gonna happen. If I go back on that and hit Control E, which is the shortcut key for flash fill, instantly it recognizes the pattern and it will go down through all these email addresses here and pull out the first name. Now, you've got to be a little bit careful because you know it's recognizing a pattern and if there's something not right about that pattern, it, it might not work, but it's instant, right? It's instant. So if you want to do this as a one-off and maybe you've got like 20 of them or something like that, you can instantly see if it's gone wrong absolutely brilliant but of course that was fairly straightforward just the first name but what if you know i i type in um the whole of this name now so i picked a bit of a uh, a longish one really as an example but i changed that to that and you can see it picked up the pattern and applied it to everything else and the reason it did that is because i changed the same name if i changed this one for example it might not have worked so i'm just going to undo all of that in a minute and show you why we could use this to extract, say, a surname. So if I just go down to one that's nice and short, like this one, and do high saw, and then back on there, Control E, it's going to pick up all of those second names from within. So it's actually picked up something from within the middle of the data. Flash fill, I'm hitting Control E, but if I wanted to get to it on the menu, it's on the home menu there, and it's fill and flash fill. And you can use this for all sorts of things. So, so I want to know, say, the domain name there. Um, so this one's Yahoo. So I could just put yahoo.com, example. And we're picking them all up here. You know, all the different domains. So that'd be a really good way of like picking up that data if you wanted to, say, filter it to just particular domains or something like that. So that's Flash Fill. You can use it to pick up any part of text from anything else. Just be a little bit careful if you've got big long lists like this. I wouldn't want to sort of 100% rely on this if I was using it for something official. That's it for this video, but there's so much more on the Up for Excel YouTube channel to get you better Excel results faster. So go and have a look, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and tell me in the comments what you want to see me talking about. I want to focus on saving time in Excel, getting you better results faster. So tell me what you want. I'll listen to it. I'll give you some great ideas for new videos in the future. See you soon.